Malediction is the ritual weapon in Season of the Witch and it is a really useful 120 RPM handgun with a decent selection of perks. This one is going to be good in both PvE and PvP, so today I'm going to look at the weapon in a little bit more detail, the stats, the perks, plus also the all-important information how to get the Malediction in Destiny 2. Without any delay, let's dive right into the important information, so how to get this weapon. So to get Malediction, you want to reach rank 16 in either Vanguard, Crucible or Gambit. So make sure you check out the rewards track for Zavala, that's Vanguard, Lord Shax, that's Crucible, and Drifter, that is Gambit, and they can all be found in the tower. Rank 16 requires 9,000 reputation to get, so it's going to be a few hours of playtime in the playlist of your choice. But once you've reached rank 16, simply go to the vendor that you want to do rank up at, and then you can collect the Malediction. Well, next up, let's have a look at the weapon in a little bit more detail. So, Malediction is a legendary kinetic hand cannon with an aggressive frame, meaning it's got high damage and high recoil. And this one is optimized for long distance shooting. Looking at the stats, we've got 92 for impact, 61 for range, 29 for stability, 32 for handling, 28 for reload speed, 20 for airborne effectiveness. It's a 120 rounds per minute hand cannon with 9 in the magazine. Well, this one has a choice of origin traits. We've got four to choose from. So, first of all, wild card. Final blows of the weapon have a chance to create experimental submunitions at the target's location. We've got Vanguard's Vindication. So, final blows of the weapon grant a small amount of health. We've got one quiet moment. So, grants increased reload speed when you're out of combat. And gun and run. So, rapidly defeating targets with the weapon grant bonus sprint speed. And Guardians, more powerful combatants and high-value targets, grant the bonus quicker. Next up, let's have a look at the Malediction perk. So we've got two standard perks, Fluted Barrel, Flared Magwell. So Fluted Barrel greatly increased the handling speed and slightly increased stability. Flared Magwell, on the other hand, slightly increased stability and greatly increases reload speed. Well then, we've got a choice in the third column. So Discord, first of all. Final blows with another weapon. Grant this weapon increased speed for aiming down sights, accuracy, and airborne effectiveness for a short time. When Discord is active, final blows refund ammo. Then you've got enlightened action, so dealing damage improves reload speed and handling. We've also got a choice in the fourth column as well, so harmony. Final blows with other weapons improve the weapon's damage and performance for a short duration. An explosive payload. Projectiles create an air effect detonation upon impact. Well, for PvP, I recommend Enlightened Action and Explosive Payload. That can be a good combination, especially if you're looking for a dueling hand cannon and that Explosive Payload, that definitely flinches your opponent in PvP. This combination is also good in PvE content, given you get that 15% extra damage in PvE with Explosive Payload. And Enlightened Action greatly buffs your reload and handling as well. Well, finally, we've got the Malediction Ornaments. So, as with other ritual weapons, Malediction comes with three ornaments. So, after this season, you'll be able to get them from the Monument to Lost Lights in the Tower for materials. If you want to get these this season, you simply have to rank up again with the vendor of your choice. And uh, you can get the ornaments that way. So, first of all, Vanguard, we've got Aged Allegiance. And once again, it's obtained by resetting your Vanguard rank with Zavala and reaching rank 16 again. So, this one can be quite slow because Vanguard ranks are the slowest of all three. Now, one good way to speed this up is to wait for double XP weeks in Vanguard Ops. Next up, we've got the Crucible one. It's Season Temper. Again, you can earn this by resetting your Crucible rank and reaching rank 16 again. And to get this done quickly, you want to farm the weekly rotating playlists. And again, look out for those double XP weeks. Finally, we've got Mold Envy. That is for Gambit. And you want to reset your Gambit rank and get to rank 16 once again with the Drifter. So, best advice here is stick with the team and a single player. To keep invading to increase your XP gains. Plus, you've also got those double XP weeks too. And those are good to look out for. Well, let me know in the comments what you think about the Malediction. I reckon this one is going to be really, really popular. I took this into PvP. It's really, really good fun. And uh, definitely recommend you do the same. So, that is it for this guide for how to get the Malediction legendary hand cannon in destiny 2 and as always thank you so much for watching or for listening don't forget to subscribe and i will see you real soon